What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best of receivers to date. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. We have considered their product quality, features, and values when narrowing down the top choices possible. If you want more information and update pricing on the products mentioned check these links in the description box below. Number 1. Denon AVR-X4700H A sonic tour de force, the X4700H is a jaw-dropping AV receiver with a class-leading specification for movies and gaming. HDMI provision covers 8 inputs, one of which is designated 8K. Generously, there are 3 outputs, with eARC support. Advanced Odyssey calibration is very effective, sounding great in our testing room and once optimized should give equally stunning results in pretty much any listening room. The X4700H is fantastically dynamic, able to cope with dramatic transients like a boss. Bass is tight and there's a superbly articulate upper mid-range. Unfortunately it does suffer from an HDMI 2.1 bug when connected to the Xbox Series 10, but you can order a device which fixes it. Number 2 Denon AVR-X2700H Denon's AVR-X2700H provides an affordable jumping-on point for the brand's 2021 X-Series AV receivers. The price tag hints at budget components, but in a smaller viewing room, rather than a cavernous theater, it defies expectations. In our listening tests it gave a punchy delivery and has no problem with action-orientated soundtracks, plus it's nuanced enough to portray subtle ambience too. Power output is rated at 150 watts for multi-channel, which is generous and it'll support a 5.1.2 channel configuration or conventional 7.1 surround, depending on how you've set up your loudspeakers. There's also 8K support, albeit via a single HDMI 2.1 input. Number 3. Marantz NR1711 Marantz hasn't changed the look of its half-height lifestyle and RAVR range for the best part of a decade, but we're good with that because beneath the hood, there's been constant evolution. The sonic signature is largely unchanged and it has a warm sound, rather than clinically precise. It's perhaps a fraction less musical than some of its siblings further up the chain, but it's undeniably fun to listen to. You can run a 5.1.2 Atmos setup with a uniform 50 watts delivered across all 7 channels. There are 6 HDMI inputs, one labeled 8K, which supports 4K 120fps and 8K 60Hz. There's only one HDMI output though, but the feature niceties include Hayes Multiroom and AirPlay 2. If you don't have a full multiroom speaker set up you can also use Dolby Atmos Height Virtualization and DTSX Virtual to roughly emulate a 3D listening experience. Number 4. Yamaha RXA6A Yamaha considers the RXA6A the best value AVR in its current lineup as it boasts a near-identical feature set to the flagship, and much more expensive, RXA8A but with changes to its internal circuitry and two fewer channels of amplification. The A6A boasts processing for 11 channels and amplification for 9, but users looking to put together a 7.2.4 system can add a stereo amp using line level outputs for either the main left right pair or the rear height speakers. Support for immersive formats includes Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D, and upmixing technology such as Dolby Surround and DTS Neural X. Meanwhile, there are options for those who don't have the speakers for a complete surround system including Dolby Atmos Height Virtualizer, Virtual Presence Speaker and Virtual Surround Back Speaker. Number 5. Marantz SR6015 There's something enduringly elegant about Marantz's AV component design. The curved fascia with small porthole display speaks of legacy and old-school musicality. But don't let that fool you, this AV receiver is also a movie beast on the cutting edge. We found its audio performance to be sublime, with effortless control of the soundstage. Never feeling under pressure, sonic placement is always precise. 
A9 channel model, it can be configured for 7.1.2. There's also Dolby Atmos height virtualization and virtual DTS, X, plus IMAX enhanced certification, which means it'll automatically change base management handling for deeper base when it recognizes flag content. The receiver has a single 8K capable HDMI 2.1 input, while smart support covers Alexa and Google Assistant, as well as AirPlay 2. Number 6. Sony SDRAN 1000. Sony went away for a couple of years, but came back better than ever with the SDRAN 1000, which officially hits shelves next month and is available for pre order now. This model offers all of the latest features, including HDMI 2.1, 4K 120Hz support. It works with Sonos, but the reason to buy it is that it's a solid performer. It also has one of the most sophisticated setup routines yet, so dialing in great sound is even easier. Number 7. Yamaha RX-A4A I'm a big fan of the Yamaha RX-V6A, so I was curious to see what the step-up RX-A4A brings to the table. As it turns out, this Yamaha offers even better build quality and a huge cinematic sound. Look through the fancy top grill and you'll see neatly packed components and a distinguished, stamped transformer. The system is capable of a beefy 110 watts per channel, stereo, and has 7 HDMI ports for your connectivity needs. I tested the Yamaha A4A against the Onkyo RZ50 and the Denon X3700. The Yamaha's sound quality tended toward the cinematic rather than the musical and offered a big, Roomy sound perfect for blockbusters or moody conspiracy thrillers. What was surprising is that the onboard phono preamp was even better than the one on the rival Onkyo RZ50, so I can recommend it for people who don't want a separate preamp for their turntable. The Yamaha is great with movies but doesn't sound as good with music streaming. Still, as the Onkyo offers balanced performance across both, it's my current favorite. Number 8 Sony STRDH590. The STRDH590 is an entry level AVR that can handle Ultra HD content such as 4K Blu ray and HDR video. With 90 watts RMS per channel, it has plenty of sonic punch for a small AV receiver, supporting Dolby and DTS surround sound decoding. If you're looking for Dolby Atmos or DTSX support, you won't find it here. But if you're satisfied with the surround sound from a good old 5.1 AV receiver and don't care about transitioning to 8K, then the STRDH590 is the best 4K AV receiver for you at the $300 price point. For streaming, it features Bluetooth connectivity so you can pair your mobile device and play music or other audio. Overall, if you're not trying to keep up with the latest and greatest but want to watch movies or play games in 5.1 surround sound, the STRDH590 will get you there for less without sacrificing quality. Number 9. Denon AVR-X2800H The winner of the entry-level AVR price category in the 2022 Watt Hi-Fi Awards, the AVR-X2800H is one of the most affordable models in Denon's Premium X range, sporting 7 channels of amplification and 7.1 CH of processing. It can be configured to drive a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos or DTSX system. But those without vertical channels can take advantage of its onboard DTS Virtual X and Dolby Atmos height virtualization technologies. Despite being an entry-level amp, the HDMI board on the AVR-X2800H has been upgraded from its predecessor to include three HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 120Hz video pass-through at up to 40 gigabits per second. The three remaining HDMI 2.0 ports have a bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second, but all inputs boast 4 to 4 colon 4 chroma subsampling and compatibility with various HDR codecs, including HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision and Hybrid Log Gamma, HLG. Gamers are well looked after, with VRR, QFT, Almond FRL, Frame Rate Link, on board for a smoother playing experience. 
Elsewhere there's also 8K upscaling offered on all inputs and eARC, enhanced audio return channel, to supply uncompressed audio via a single HDMI cable. Number 10. Denon AVCX3800H. It offers a considerable 11.4 channels of processing, and with 9 channels of amplification as a single unit, it's suitable for configurations up to 5.4.4 out of the box but can be expanded to 7.4.4 with the addition of an external stereo amp. Users can also take advantage of a new selective preamplifier mode that allows each speaker pair to be assigned to pre-out only for use with an external power amp, so if you wish to upgrade the amplification of your front pair, for example, you can do so. All of the AVCX3800H's 6 HDMI inputs and 3 outputs are HDMI 2.1 ports rated to 40GB-S capable of 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 120Hz video pass-through. They boast compatibility with every major HDR format, HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision and Hybrid Log Gamma, and there's a raft of gamer-friendly technology supported, too, with VRR, QFT, OM and FRL, Frame Rate Link, all on board. There are plenty of ways to wirelessly connect to the AVCX 38000H, with Apple AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, Rune and Hayes, Danon's multi-room software that integrates streaming services, including Tidal and Deezer and lets users stream to compatible products. Number 11. Denon AVCX 3700H. When you listen to class-leading products as often as we do, you know immediately when a new standard has been set. That said, sometimes it takes until you have a direct comparison with another superb product to comprehend just how high the bar has been lifted. That is the case with the new 8K Ready Denon AVCX 3700H Home Cinema Amplifier. The energy of the performance is immediately striking. There's greater muscle than before, but it is also even lither and better defined. It's a combination of solid dynamic expression, which enthuses each vocal line as much as differentiating one gunshot from another, a sharper punch and greater clarity that allows you to get deeper inside the soundtrack and become more immersed. If you have the system to match it with, the AVCX3700H is another Denon effort that will happily last you many years. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe us to get more information and update product review videos.